what is the impact of artificial intelligence on society? In my book, The Intelligence Revolution, I talk about how AI is transforming our world. And I believe that artificial intelligence is the most powerful and the, the most transformative technology that humans have ever had access to. So in this video, I want to look at some of the key impacts. Jobs will change and be transformed. Um, there was an interesting study by PricewaterhouseCoopers that looked at the UK and it said that AI could potentially, potentially replace about 7 million jobs in the UK alone. What was interesting is that it could also create about 7.2 million new jobs. So this for me is an interesting uh, dilemma of AI that we will definitely see people losing their jobs, jobs become redundant and being transformed by AI, but we also see huge new opportunities. So what we need to do as individuals is we need to think about what this technology can now do and what will this mean for our job and not necessarily the job that we do at the moment, but how might our job change in the future and what roles that we currently do, AIs can do in the future and what we will carry on as humans where we can add some real value. Automation. This obviously is linked to jobs too, but it's about business processes and processes in society. We are now able to have self-driving cars. We have robots that move by themselves. We have ships that autonomously cross oceans. We have self-flying autonomous passenger drones. So increasingly we see more and more of our processes being automated by smart, intelligent machines that use AI. But it's not just physical labor, it's also white collar automation that is being fast tracked at the moment, where we are um, re-envisaging jobs even like lawyers and medics and others to think, hey, we can now automate a lot of this. I've recently designed the data strategy for Shell, for example, and a big chunk of this was actually the legal department and how they can now use artificial intelligence to autom automatically write and review legal contracts. Better healthcare. We are currently facing a healthcare crisis across the world and artificial intelligence can make healthcare better, more efficient, but also give more people access to healthcare. A study by McKinsey uh, found that we can save around $100 billion a year in healthcare by using artificial intelligence and machine learning. And if you just think about this, we now have apps and we can build intelligence into them. So if we have certain skin conditions, we can use our phone, we can take a picture, it can then tell us what skin conditions we might have. And the diagnosis is not done by a human, but by an artificial intelligence algorithm. So all of this will give more people access, potentially free access to healthcare and free up current healthcare workers to do the really important value adding jobs that we all care about. AI will transform education. Our education system is really out of date today because it was designed 50, 100 years ago where we basically delivered a mass education to prepare people for certain jobs that they would then have for their lifetime. Nowadays, schools need to be reimagined and artificial intelligence can do this. It can really track progress of individual kids. So if they're using education apps, um, let's say they're using a math app, for example, it can track exactly where you are having problems and then they can build on this and give you more exercises. This is something that a teacher that has 20 or 30 kids in their class simply can't do. So we need to reimagine how we do this and very similar to healthcare, what artificial intelligence enables us to do is to give more people access to, health, to, to education and potentially make it free for many more people and make it personalized. Better information. Artificial intelligence enables us to make sense of these vast volumes of data we now have in the world. We've never had more data than today 
and AI can help us find patterns automatically, help us analyze this data. This is already being used in weather forecasts, for example, they are getting more precise. So we have more and more data that we can turn into insights automatically. One example is predicting earthquakes. So what Google has just released is an app that basically monitors vibrations of your phone. And this all happens in the background. And if all Android phones in one region suddenly start to vibrate, it can automatically detect an earthquake. This is just one example where all of this sensor data is being collected and automatically analyzed using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Better use of our resources. AI has the potential to help us become more efficient. We see this already in warehouses, across supply chains, where we see more automation and also a reduction of waste. But just think about this. Companies like Google, for example, with their Nest thermostat, is able to understand how we're using our heating system, how much power we're consuming. And this is really valuable information that we can then feed to power companies that can optimize their power grids. There's a lot of wastage at the moment happening and the more information we have and the more this can be analyzed in real time, the more we can reduce this, make it more efficient. We're also seeing artificial intelligence algorithms being used in big data centers to optimize their energy usage. And we'll see much more of this in the future. But there's also an environmental impact of artificial intelligence. We've just talked about the fact that AI can reduce um, emissions, but it also causes emissions. And sometimes this is something we forget when we use a little app on our phone or we use cloud services that we think, hey, okay, they're all clean, but actually they are powered by massive data centers that take sizes of multiple football fields and have huge energy consumption that need to be cooled and so on. So what we need to make sure is that we are using AI for the right reasons and not just using it because we can. For the one reason that there is an environmental impact and an impact on climate change whenever we use AI. So overall for me the biggest promise of artificial intelligence is to make our world a better place. It will replace some jobs, but it will hopefully create better, more human jobs. It will has the promise to transform our education, our healthcare. But what we need to do is we need to make sure we focus it on the things that really help us as humans to create the world we want to live in in the future. For more videos on AI and their usage, check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to this channel, or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find hundreds of articles and videos on this topic.